How's it going guys? It's WGUR. Yes, it is Ian McNeil and we are here in the studios in Lanier Hall with an artist, a local guy. His name's Josh Brown. How are you doing today, Josh? I'm doing good. How about you? Oh, I'm well. Um, so you're doing a couch concert with us. You, you've been a local musician for a while. We've known each other for a while. Um, we met at GMC back Ooh. when we were both young guitar players. What an awful um, place to be. <laughs> um, why don't you talk about kind of your growth as a musician with these past several years and where you're at now and you've recorded an EP of some sorts and that's what we're here to promote today as well as some of your other original music. So why don't we talk about where you, how you've grown in Milledgeville. Well, I really got started at GMC being like in concert band and marching band and everything. Um, and that kind of leads into now I'm a music major in music education here at Georgia College. I am a tuba primary as well as I play in the jazz band. I'm the guitarist for the upcoming semester as well. And mainly just like everything is formed in its own way. Like everything's built up musically and everything that I've learned as a student of music has really started to bleed into my own like taste and style of playing guitar playing tuba and everything i've started like to develop my own kind of feel and color to my own music so being having this experience and having different kind of textures influence your ability um you've also been a proponent involved with the downtown Milledgeville music scene and you've seen the downtown music scene grow really over these past two years and you've been a part of that has that been a big influence on your playing as well as music development? Oh, yeah. I mean, you obviously meet people through the downtown area, and I think you and me both can say that Dustin McCook, the guitarist from Freelance yeah. Ruckus, has really influenced a lot of people, myself included. My first song, I was like, oh, my God, what is this dude doing on stage? <laughs> and usually, like, you would get, like, just thrown off by this. Like, oh, I can never compare that. But then you, as a musician, you there's always that small sense of competition in you, whether you like to admit it or not. It's like, mm -hmm. I'd like to be there. I'd like to be able to play like that or I'd like to be able to hold my own on stage. And I think that kind of healthy competition really is what's helped the downtown music scene in Millersville. Granted, we've lost a couple of good people to some other towns. Like, yeah. we've lost people to Athens and yeah. just moving around in general. But we still have a great, like, just movement going on down here. And hopefully it will continue outside of just what we have. We have a lot of rock and country and blues. We have a little bit of jazz and a little bit of avant-garde mm -hmm. out here. And hopefully we can grow and get upon that and just push forward. So before we get into the performance, um, I've listened to a lot of your original material. I've been there during the development of the original material um you recorded an ep in in my backyard in my shed yes that's where the ep um, was recorded <laughs> yeah um could you talk about some of the material that we're going to be hearing today like what what's kind of the inspirational elements where what kind of genre would you classify yourself as you know things like that well it's hard to really pinpoint a genre because i'm influenced by so much stuff like i mean there's the rock side of me that loves like everything that came out of the 90s, all the grunge era, Nirvana, Pearl Jam, everything like that. Then there's like the jazz side of me, loves Wayne Shorter, Miles Davis, you know, your standard people. I love Americana, like Brandy Carlile, Ryan Adams. And really, it's hard to pinpoint something because I like to write stuff in a bunch of different variations and styles, as is kind of the composer side of me. And it's like I said, it's really hard to pinpoint an exact style or genre that I like to stick myself into, but majority of my music that I've written and the stuff that I'm going to play today that's all originals um, it's all influenced by people in my life not written necessarily about them but with them in mind mm -hmm. so it's more of an indirect approach to it I okay. suppose I, I mean there's not like me writing out some like you you it's all about you <laughs> it's like because then I mean you're so vain you probably think this song is about you but no no <laughs> um, uh, it's it is written predominantly about the female interaction in my life, about the people who I have experienced. And I know that's such like a common, I was like, this song's written about a girl. <sighs> then it's just records. But I mean, it's just common, I suppose. But it's just really 
the relationships and bonds that I've made and broken with people and kind of just like that kind of influence into my own music. And that's the majority of what the lyricism is about. The instrumentation just kind of comes and goes as it is. Okay, awesome. All right, well, once again, we're here at WGUR Studios located at the GCSU. We're about to have a performance with Josh Brown. Stay tuned. Well, this first song is the first song on my newest um, effort, my EP, Horizon. That's called Lottery. <laughs> Chasing my own tail Oh well. well Pretty soon man I can tell Seems like ages since I won my lottery well, Something down the road will change But chances are it's probably me Well I can see Something next to nothing seems to be a fair trade Better than ones that I had made When you lie, your savior dies just a little more inside But does he really hear you cry at night? Seems I'm chasing my Ages since I won my lottery Well, something down the road will change But chances are it's probably me Oh, I, I don't care. Prom- 
promises how you take Seems I'm chasing my own tail. Oh well. Pretty soon, man, I can tell. It seems like ages since I won my lottery. Well, something down the road will change, but chances are it's probably me. Something down the road will change, but chances are it's probably me. Hey, hey, hey. Well, something down the road will change, but chances are it's probably me. Hmm. I'll play another one off of my EP. This one's called Curly Q, and it's an interesting one because it was written about someone I went to high school with who ended up actually telling me that I was being manipulated by somebody. And yeah, this is the result of that. Visions calls from Take memories that break and bend. It looks like. 